I'm Victoria Lee from BlueHandArts.com. Today, I'm going to talk about Qi Gong. There are many kinds of Qi Gong. Basically, three things in common. Chinese painting and calligraphy have to do with all three of these things. First of all, let me introduce one of the earliest Qi Gong, Ba Duan Jin. Eight sections of exercise to you. We can do it before and after Chinese painting and calligraphy exercise. Uh, I want to introduce some breathing technique we call abdominal breathing. Inhale, abdominal is up, up, up. Exhale. It's especially good in our calligraphy and the Chinese painting when you use abdominal breathing and uh, it can avoid too much movement and the shaking if shallow breathing here you do not want it lots of this kind of breathing right so basically when you do upwards stroke you do inhale down Word. Exhale, exhale, slow and quick, inhale, and then continue to do exhale. So here are two. Quick inhale, quick inhale. This exhale. Do not paint it separately, one stroke by one stroke. It all in group. One one breath. Mood or mind uh, can be very loose and very free. And even without hand, without uh, can without a brush, but one thing, one thing, the chi is the most important thing. You cannot do things without chi, right? So, in the Chinese painting and uh, calligraphy, we uh, need to do the chi gong. In other words. As we see the whole process, we know when you do the calligraphy or Chinese painting correctly, you are practicing qigong. 